Right, this was a mission about controlling some power thingies. Uh, whoever gets the 50 points needed wins. Three seals. So basically, if we can maintain control over two seals, we are guaranteed to win. If we can keep one and fight over a second one successfully, we will still win. So there's no point trying to hold down to three no matter what. I think we want some of the loose resources, but I don't think a hero should be the one speaking them up. Uh, okay, let's look at the map first. What are you showing? What is this supposed to be? Well, my hero can't really travel on the water at the moment. So everyone else gets to go, I think. Join with them. She will join up with the group going after that. Yeah. This is our well, probably the bad best group we're gonna have because we have keeping power here. To locate at least bottom one of the seals very quickly, so we can get the energy to start taking our way. But as long as we don't get casualties, we can recover fairly quickly. We have quite a lot of melee guns. One. Right. Heroes need level ups more than they need, and they, they need fast. If we can do, achieve that, so we basically have the strength, military strength that we need. That's about all we need. If we can farm kills for them, I will certainly do it. But these are so low value, it doesn't really matter. And I'm not risking any kind of major damage to anyone else. Rather bad. I don't have the luxury of waiting around for reinforcements and things like that.
a minor treasures. This could be a just a distraction. Mr. Ham. Maybe more healing power. It, it'll just mean we'll getting wounded in a fight is gonna isn't gonna mean much. Right. I have to pick a direction and go instead of trying to go everywhere. New convert, charm, something. I don't know, but we do have to fight. We're in desperate need of experience. Well, he is earnest. Boss City, mythical. Um, I don't think we have the units to take care of that. We are basically shit, shit, okay, and sort of weakish heroes. The sorcerer would be the only viable way to defeat whatever is there. And she sort of likes the spells, the damage, pure damage spells to do it. If everyone was uh, around level 12, I don't think we would have too much trouble, but level 6 heroes aren't that good. There's no way we can defend ourselves against their sprint ability so we'll have to attack and they're in defensive mode so they're hard to infect through status effects uh, we'll try to play one of them out of the fight hopefully the other one doesn't have enough attack points to kill anyone after that Resisted my throw chicken ability. I don't think I want to play a gamble on the net attack. Guard mod won't help against these because they have the spring, they can just ignore it. We don't have a healer in this group, so... Fuck. One down. Yeah, I don't think this is a... Uh, this group is not gonna get far. And the wrong guys are getting the experience. No either. This has no endurance in a lengthy campaign of to do anything. There's no way these can do a mythical site. Might be able to do that, get a spell out of it. I need something. Even the cherubs might be worthwhile. 
they can fly, they're pretty much worthless though. I actually don't recall what they do. I probably should cast one just to find out. I will just have to develop one of these cities. We spread about. We won't be able to achieve all that much. Our leader is a devout, we, which means we are gonna need. We're gonna need these celestial devout units. Specialized devout units to, to get anything done. Nagas aren't terrible by any means. Oh, this will help a little bit. Protection devout flying. It's basically worthless, but it's a flying unit, so we can at least flank with it. Also, they look creepy as shit. What am I doing? Uh, support units get the heal of it, right? It's, uh, I think it's a good long term investment. Probably the, one of the better ones we can do at the moment. Not sure if we can take these guys on. It has ancient knowledge. We would get the heal ability sooner. Um, a lot sooner because it probably has a ball. It would probably cut the development time at least to have. I'm I'm really desperate to getting that. After that, at least I mean, if I can just build a temple and get those going. That's uh, not that big of an investment in developing a city. Once that's done, we can we can basically just send the hero armies out there, and they'll more or less self-sufficient. The fact that they have static electricity and phantasm warriors is a bad combination, though. I can't do melee attacks against them. They also have. Healer, so I need to get rid of the healer first. He won't be able to heal himself. We can handle this. Thanks to Ali, we have enough healing potential that we can see this through. But this Ali won't be able to keep us going for long. She spends 28 mana per heal spell. I only have 140 for the entire faction, so. Yeah. Uh, that, wouldn't also, that won't also heal anyone outside the fights. It's not a good solution. It's a. Uh, might keep us going for a little bit, but it's not a good situation. Need to kill that.
stun him. Well, the heroes can be harmed at least some to extent. I think they have fast healing, right? So they heal at least get the decent phase. So the non-hero you may that are gonna be a problem to heal. And we are stunned. And <sighs> the one guy that could have done magical damage immediately got played out twice. So that's the that's the beautiful part. And stun. It's it's not exactly a guaranteed thing that you get stunned. It's supposed to be just a chance. But Jesus fucking Christ, it's happening 100% of the time. I'm, I'm gonna have to sacrifice these to protect the hero. And stun. We're gonna lose everything but the heroes. And that's if things go well for us. Yeah, knitting probably isn't gonna work. I don't want to give him a flanking attack either. Just try to survive. It is not fairly well. Just need to distract him a little bit. <sighs> well, I knew this was going to turn into this situation sooner or later anyway. So no surprises here. Three points. Cut the research time in half, but we're not going anywhere without additional troops. And neither of us have any charm or conversion uh, conversion abilities, so it basically has to be units we produce for ourselves. So we're going back home. Also means you are gonna have to produce something decent very quickly. Nagas would have been the fastest unit to produce, I think. Alternatively, we can try to move forward with the heroes alone. They will be healing up fairly quickly. It's risky, but um, if I go back, I think I'm kind of regretting it more than just pushing forward. We might be able to get enough summoned creatures to last for a while. I just don't like the Naga specifically, or these type of cities in general, so I don't want to waste resources in order to develop them. Then.
is ill. Ah, what larks? Haven't been sure the halfling has come to save the day. Do you not think you've done enough already? You have the key to ultimate power to a madman after all. You keepers haven't done a very good job of keeping anything, truth be told. Perhaps you should leave the seals to those of us who are responsible enough to use them safely. I can't do that, Iso. I may have failed in my duty to keep the seals a secret, but I can still stop them from falling into the hands of evil. Well, he's not evil at all. And this group cannot attack him. What exactly could we do? Gather up loose resources? Uh, it's not usually a good use of anyone's time, not with a group of this size. Wish we should take offensive actions. Still there, getting gathering up enough resources that I might be able to hasten my production. What exactly am I doing in this? List? This is bastard production, right? This is basic mana production. Uh, right, good enough. I, I don't care what happens with this group. Just It'll allow me to get other resources going. I could just fucking get rid of this piece of shit. It, it produces some things, so. Who's merchandise? Ooh, how about new? No? Actually, the defensive group here would have been weak enough for the I guess to deal with. <laughs> Too late to do anything about that now, though. Mm, where to go, where to go? Suppose we should aim here. Looks like humans. Proshnag. Now the halflings have come. How tiresome. Well, if one has cheese, then one should expect mice, I suppose. The seals are mine, mouse man. If you leave now, I'll overlook your intrusion. Otherwise, I'll exterminate you along with all the other vermin that stand against me. Kroshak, you disappoint me. You always had such potential. What has happened to you? So much hatred, so much rage. I cannot, stop the I cannot stop the powers of the seal from being unleashed, but I can at least keep it away from you. That's a sorcerer. I think the other might be a rogue, but I'm not sure. Is this... Could this be his capital or something? I mean, I'm not going to be able to take it down. These guys have to do something. And fast enough of a attack might gain us a town or two. Undead Slayer resistance. Well, it's better than. Well, maybe not even better than that one. It has combat benefits. This one has vision range. Bone wyvern, break, and some 
piece of crap. There's not that much I can do here. We'll use the rogue as bait for them. They have range attackers now. The problem is they have too much mobility on their units. Martyrdom will keep her safe. They did 15 points of damage to this guy. We are holy champions. We're doing massive amount of damage to these guys. Easy victory for us. Only the healer that damage relief. Good hit, not good enough. Yeah, this is a viable group. Very viable. Fully independent, and there's a lot of room for growth too. Nightmare, fire protection, unholy champion. So you would be a holy and unholy champion. Uh, I'll take it. I'm not sure what uh, steeds we're riding currently. She doesn't even have one. The same shield as we currently have, only looks a little bit different. Extra research. Yeah, we got our better, we got our healers. So every support caster can cast heal now. Important upgrade. Infantry and cavalry units have trained by the Order of Templar Knights, receiving 20% holy protection and the devout power. 
number two. I don't know, maybe basic seafaring. Although we should start the ability to produce martyrs and other crusaders would be very important too. I think maybe more casting ability now. I'm not sure what the devout property does. But if we're not gonna go produce Nagas, basic seafaring is pretty much mandatory too. Anyway, this group performs just fine. Okay, stop bothering me with this city. You could release it as a vassal, I suppose. I mean, at least it would be doing something. I don't think I would suffer about it too much, so just let it go. I'm not claiming this is the smart thing to do, I just... I, if I'm not gonna bother with it at all, I, I might as well just give it up. Kaplan Blue Brothers, I guess those are the support units. They have a natural healing ability already. I could use more research. I could use marchers. Use a lot of things. This is the important part. If we win this, I think we have a reasonable chance of achieving something worthwhile. Because we can start producing, we're definitely migrating this immediately, starting to produce something else. It will give us evil points. It doesn't matter, this group is basically not going anywhere unless it gets support troops. Ah, the old skin of oil rally. Fuck. If we don't get in, this is gonna be tough for us. have a lot of range power. They have enough. Spell that as a pretty significant debuff. the safety at the very least. Only a couple of guys can attack us. Problem is you know you can't do all that many interesting things. and morale suffers. 
not much of a difference. Uh, let's harass. It will counter some of the negative is produced by the debuff she has. I don't think we have the luxury of just sitting here and letting them come to us, but it might be better here because we need to defend against a lot of attacks. He's going to make. Yeah. He can control this enough that he can uh, force flanking attacks. Heal myself with chain lightning too. The problem is it's not gonna kill anyone. chance of being stunned. He's already stunned so he won't attack us. I think I definitely need to attack. Nothing worked so I basically made myself vulnerable in exchange for nothing. You have resurgence right? Yep. I'm buying time. I need to heal on this turn, otherwise I'm not gonna survive. But that's not really gonna solve much. This all shit. They just can they just can attack way too much. Yeah, and I can't get inside the city. So we can't do it this way. I need to be able to go somewhere else where the amount of enemies can be controlled a little bit. Where I can do something besides just defending constantly. Uh, this is already lost. Could cast a cherub. Not sure if that would help in any way, though. I mean, it might a little. But I don't think so, because now we can use the. Well, it depends how many casting points it takes up. I don't think they can. Right, healing abilities are actually quite rare, unless you are a class that gets. We need to go on the offensive immediately. We need to reduce their range damage specifically. Can 
force it to be about melee only, then I think we have a decent chance. If I can get them to shoot at Ernest a little bit, that would help to split the damage. Then kill one of the next turn. I don't know if I have to use a spell to do it. That's the best part. Get a flanking shot. I don't have mana. I use it to summon the fucking sheriff. Shit. Though so still managed to turn to shit. Not necessarily. We are getting a lot of range bonuses by being here. But uh, that's something I didn't take into account. I probably could get an extra crystal from some place by not attacking with these guys right now. Defensive capabilities aren't that great. I need a sun effect. Doesn't matter what he does, he's the only one who can get him to attack. Him. We need to pull back the other hero though. The shamans can do a decent amount of damage. No, oh, more than I thought, that's bad. Ooh, oh god, he didn't kill them for some him for some reason. Yeah, you, we will not survive another another turn here. Actually, we'll die by that one. Shit. Ugh, I fucked it up again. Not thinking things through. change anything uh, the other hero is gonna still die yeah his only total survival would be to reach the exit in time that's no longer possible I still played to the end Where can I turn into mana crystals? 
Not a few mana crystals that well, I'm being ign I have ignored would have basically saved my ass. Uh, no, I should have more. Where exactly did they win? 63, yeah, it's uh, enough to cast at least a couple of chain lightnings. Why didn't I have them in the fight? I'll probably spend it in, the, in an odd way. Uh, spread between multiple characters I mean. Okay. Uh, any easy mana for us to access? Well, there's one chance. It's another. I don't have troops here. I can summon this son of a bitch, but I'm not sure if that's a great idea. Let's see what else we could do. I think it's a better trade out to do it this way though. We have 50 extra mana. I lose the ability to throw one Holy Smite, is it? Something like that. Holy damage spell in exchange for actually being cast able to cast combat spells with the hero in the in the fight. Right, attempt three. You cannot go into their firing range no matter what. He's going to have to tank a lot of damage. At the same time, why are you here if you don't go there? Because you might be able to contribute that extra little teeny bit of damage that we might need. Or be a distraction, whatever. Right, we have um, 100 mana, yeah, we don't have to worry about the mana crystals this time. 70 casting points, the more important one. I can do two chain lightnings, then some other buffs. If it goes into melee, I'll be fine, I think. And a couple of buffs, so two chain lightnings, or those are my attack spells. I have to target range units. Um, right, I need the priest and the razor bow guy be hit with every blast I take. And the lower level hero can take those attacks, so the flying hero is in good shape when she reaches the wall. Hopefully we can kill the razor bug guy before he gets too many bleeding wounds. It's hits, hits, hits on us. That'll be a real problem if he does that. It might be worthwhile to just attack her directly. I don't think we have the luxury of that. Right. We should be able to get easy kills every turn. Single kill. Priority has to be on range. Please. Don't get up bleeding wound. Not a bleeding <sighs> That makes a big difference. It's a significant amount of damage on a to a basically a hero unit who tends to have us good defensive values normally. Uh, it's a guaranteed kill for us. Shaman dies. With the shaman dead, it frees up the secondary hero to come closer to up for some support fire. Guaranteed kill.
Right, Spearman probably should be the least important target. Maybe because they're all that all too happy to just fling spears at us. It doesn't it's not gonna do more that much damage. I don't think he can attack anyone. Uh, he can do a flanking attack. Shit. I don't know if I can kill him. Well, there's a... There's a small chance I might. Also a chance he might be stunned. Stunned and dazzled, good enough. Right, not a, not a pretty fight, not a pretty situation or a, any kind of a good positive situation for us. And they're getting reinforcements, but if we're in a defensive position, I'm fairly certain that we can, we can prevail. Bigger thing is, we absolutely have to have something here quickly. Absorbing and migrating is just as tedious, uh, so we might as well absorb. We can't move here until this is done. Uh, it, it'll, it, it won't solve the major problem we have that we have no healing capacity here, but it can't be helped. Chaos Rift. We can basically cast it and then we can't do anything else with this. However, looking at the opposition they've been throwing our way so far, it's basically a instant win in a fight. Well, not an instant win, but a win anyway. Uh, they can't... they have nothing that could hold up against that. We're gonna get three tier 3 units and area... Uh, probably around closer to 10 area of effect lightning bolt strikes. There's just nothing left after that. Not not worth mentioning. So I don't think we should stay here. It's a long wait in exchange for what I see is nothing. Nothing of real value. So this is not a place worth defending. We don't have the crystals to use our spell power either though. Yeah, we I'm not sure if we could have pulled these guys back. And another stack of units. Yeah, we need to get the fuck out of here while we still have a life. Um, ancient knowledge. I absolutely have to get 70 mana crystals on the next turn. Uh, it's gonna be tough going no matter what I do, but I can pretty much guarantee survival no matter what the fight is. That. But these guys are in a such a desperate situation. Uh, yeah, I can probably get a group of mana crystals on the next turn. Question is, what do I want to buy? There's multiple stacks of enemies. I want all of them to come and attack. We're not gonna get another shot at this. Bring me more if you want to. This will drain their 
in this quite thoroughly. Ooh, where the fuck did you come from? No. Actually, I don't know. There's a teleportation location there. Right. We're still getting some income out of this. And it has enough troops that it can probably hold its own. Right. Need more mana crystals. No, I don't need them. I must, absolutely must have them or I'm fucked. Early fucked. Those refugees. Yes. Might go and fight some of us through some of these sites. Uh, I could use the resources no matter what we do. But mana specifically, there's at least one mana node there. We could we need the crystals we can get from that. Money is welcome too. Resources Treasure aside. Okay, how are my cities doing? Mana that takes forever to produce. Research and our village that's kind of my yeah, no basically to do jack shit. But let things happen. We don't actually have to fight against these. They might have enough attack capabilities to actually blow in even against the Chaos Rift. Um, what exactly do we want to achieve here? Survival naturally is the highest priority. However, there's multiple ways to get around that. And the more mana crystals we get in storage and more we heal before we actually are forced into engagement, the better. So again, do we really want the city? We can't hold down to it, it's a pointless fight. We will get wounded or waste a huge ton. This might be a fight worth having. It's a, it's a drastic drop in their military assets. And I'm not sure where exactly am I running to. That's I suppose the biggest problem I have with what I'm currently doing. Now well, this looks fairly impressive for a city. Uh, decent size, decent things here. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Wherever this goes. We should be almost healed after turn ins. Uh, yeah, this legend guy. Move, 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 don't let them, don't let them get you. I'm guessing we're more or less at a dead end, so we're going to have to face this army in a, like a turn or two. I'd like to face in a position of strength. And again, this city is fine, it's a massive city, but I'm not sure what good is it. They have a legendary forbidden sanctum for spells and resources, but again, the spells is not really the problem here, it's what the fuck can I do with it. And it looks like I basically ran into a dead end.
This is by far the biggest and most impressive city I've seen so far. I think it's also an orc city. And I, I, I need something. But... Is this... Am I getting anything out of this? Yeah, it's just a gigantic dead end. Um, yeah, it's an important city, but it's not a capital city. It's not a... the orc's leader isn't here. It's just... Just a city. That produces, produces a decent amount of money, I guess. What's this? Not exactly, but you get this. If this provides nothing, this is just a, just a waste of my time. I'm think, debating am I going to try to push this or am I going to just load. I'm not sure, even not going back a turn, I could basically go somewhere besides this. At the same time, it might be worthwhile to just struggle through these. It's, like, it's not like we're in a hopeless position here by any means. The Chaos Rift is basically going to see through us through a lot of bad situations. And I have no reason not to use it because there's nothing to lose. I need to just concentrate on getting as many mana crystals we possibly can. See that coming. That's a big problem because uh, I actually don't have a huge amount of healing potential. So the Wraith King getting a good attack on our defenseless hero is a big problem. Right, and I can't do much in this position. Every move I make will basically end up hurting me more than anyone else. So this is a big fuck up on my part. Might get lucky with a lightning strike. Not quite. Yeah, this didn't go well. I totally ignored the Wraith King. I, th I didn't think he would basically have the range to attack us. We're gonna die because of that. This has been such a terribly played scenario on my part. I sort of want to see it through, and now I don't. I have no other choice but to load this. I suppose I could have gone with the autosave. I, I just don't see what I'll, what possible thing we could get from that hope that would really make a big difference in our favor. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. That's, that's a death trap. Uh, I'm gonna try to escape from them thanks to the simultaneous turn loophole. But if we have to fight them, I'm actually okay with that too. No, he's going to defend the city, okay, so he didn't try to attack. I don't get that. Yeah, the cities are important, but... 
they're a, they're a side attraction, really. Other extra casting power. Okay, what exactly do we need to do? Gather up more resources quickly. We could also rush to the east, I suppose, but I'm not sure that's uh, exactly a good idea. As I can see, there's only gold there, which isn't exactly bad. Gold is not what we need at this exact moment. Was there elementals? Uh, don't see how this could go too badly for us. Yeah, let them run. Point five. Now, I could probably fight that and get some extra crystals. Uh, in order to do it without getting damage, I would have to use crystals to do it, so I don't think I will end up winning anything. These are the type of fights I might be able to do without having any casualties. Again, why? It's a it's a basically an out. Where the hell is everyone? Where are the capital cities? At least I'm fully healed now. Hmm. Could get lucky. I don't particularly care. We're gonna win through the Chaos Rift or basically we're gonna lose. Garrison Ick has been raised. That's a level of promotion. Well, I'll take that. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure what good I'm. I'm, I'm doing with this rushing around blindly everywhere. Still important level ups for us. Phoenix Warrior might be a worthwhile thing, basically, rather resurgence. We could have two, both heroes have the resurgence already. Uh, I'll take the wall climbing though. It's, it's been a big problem in those city fights so far. Bleeding wounds. Uh, it's fine, but it's not really great. War cry could have been useful in some, some situations. I think I'd rather want some of this, so I'm saving my points. We probably want more casting power, I can't really think of anything else. I mean, there are not a lot of nice things, however, we're gonna live or die by our casting capability. Protectile Reflection might be interesting. Half damage against range attacks, because we're constantly being the one who's taking all the punishment. Oh, Thunderstorm is nice. 
Uh, we could basically get three lightning bolt attacks. Yeah, I, I'm saving my points. So this is... They have great cities there, but they're they're sort of worthless in a way. Yeah, that probably should be the place I went to, but again, we made our choice. Prime Seals of Merlin. Plus one charge per turn to the Occupying player. Occasionally spawns unit to defend itself. And currently it has tier 3, tier 2, tier 2, tier 2, tier 2. I might be able to win that, but good luck keeping that fucker. At least I sort of get the gist of things now. This, he owns this half of the map, he owns this half entirely, and I'm supposed to control this one. And then we fight over these. And the, he has enough troops, at least the orc player, that he can pull it off. I'm, I'm going to harass him as much as possible, prevent them from getting access to the seals any more than I do. I'm fighting the players, not for the control of the seals. I, I, I don't have the troops to do it. Anymore. I have the capability to do serious harassment of them. Either way, I'll have to end things soon. Looks like a decent scimitar. Plus two melee string. I think it's better than this one. Elemental damage tends to be better. Okay, what do I want to do with these guys? There's monster sites, extra mana. Pulse units, farm. I would not object to some extra units. Monkeys. These are fairly dangerous. I'll finish this turn and end it there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do the irregular combat thing. Basically, try to piece in their porridge as much as possible. Try to kill troops. Try to destroy cities. I'm, I mean, burn them to the fucking ground. Destroy cities. Uh, and that sort of thing. I'm not going to try to maintain any kind of control, I'm going to try to develop my own cities and send out additional troops to do more harassment. I'm going to be fairly light on the defense this time. They have an overwhelming charge of some kind, if I don't recall incorrectly. Which means they're very troublesome to deal with. I might survive a single one of those, I won't survive a two. So let's see if we can get rid of one of them at least. Resist, 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 resist. At the same time, if I even take the hero there, um, I don't think the end result is going to be anything different. 
Can I whip one of them? Well, I can try and fail. Might be able to charm one. I mean, it has usually a negative effect even if it fails. Better than I expected. Uh, Weapon is probably one of the better combat units we could have at this point because of the overwhelming charge, devastating charge. Just does a massive amount of damage. Fairly standard, but I don't really have that type of uh, unit at the moment. Basic sea pairing. We can use boats. Not interested in the advanced version. I can't really do all that many units. So maybe spell options. I think I already have direct damage and a buff. Find channeler then. Who are we leaving, leaving behind? Maybe a farmer. Although I'm not too keen on the adventurers either. It's a return fire shield. Couldn't protect at all. No, it's a static shield. Huh. Uh, for a rogue, that's probably not that bad, especially because he has shit as shield. Plus one defense, plus two if, if an armor flanking attack. It's not terrible, but static shield would probably protect her better in a tough situation. All important level up. We need to save her points a little bit. I think she gets the ability where she cannot be backstabbed at all. Or, no, no, no. She cannot be flanked at all. We don't have to constantly be in defense mode to keep her safe. Shadow form would be a valuable buff. Cost 20, so I can't do it. Yeah, I think I'll just save on the points. We're starting to look at something like 10 point investment to get anything half decent done. Severely poisoned and crippling wounds would be useful. Simply because even a slight loss of movement points means that the enemy cannot retaliate on 3 times attack on his own turn. So it's a, it actually helps defend your life. Extra poison damage isn't that important, but again, minus 500 to morale is a massive. It might not cause them to fumble, but they're going to have a tough time getting critical hits to go through. Alright, I'll leave things here. This has been, I think, the worst clusterfuck of a start I've ever had in a mission. But, uh, I'm going to see it through. At least I understand fairly well, I think, what, we, what is expected of us. The heroes might be able to do enough harassment or a job on those, they can't control the sea seals either. And it seems like they're going to, there's going to be an army popping up there from time to time, so it's not like you just need to defend it against the other opponents, you're going to have to defend it against the elemental creatures too. So there's no point starting a fight over these seals unless you have at least a one very very competent stack and Right, they're probably all here. One road leads to our area, another leads to theirs, and another leads to the goblins. It, it's, uh, it's probably fairly symmetrical how things are going. So, base, base, and I'm not sure where the 
third guy's base is gonna be. That's where the orcs are very likely. Someone is there at least. Still, this is not good. I need... I need something. 